What's up guys, Scott here, and today we're going to be setting up your Twitch stream from scratch. By the end of this video, you'll be able to start streaming right away. If I'm being honest, this video could probably be five or maybe six videos considering everything that we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering stream lab setup. We're going to be setting up custom alerts and sounds that happen when someone follows you. We're also setting up custom overlays, such as webcam borders. We're going to be setting up custom panels and custom Twitch headers and offline screens. And along with this video, I'm giving away a lot of free things that I custom designed myself. To download some of these designs that I've made, you're going to have to head into the Discord server linked below and you're going to head to free stuff to download tons of different things that I made. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to streamlabs.com and you're gonna go and download the Streamlabs app. After that's downloaded, go ahead and open it up and the first thing you'll see is something like this. Um, you won't have any feed here because you probably haven't started yet, but the first thing you'll see here on the bottom left is your scenes. So we'll have the first scene here. We're gonna rename it to just gaming. We're only gonna have one, one scene here. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go over to sources and you're gonna add in display capture. Go ahead and click add source, boom. And then we're gonna lock that right here so you can't move it around. If you unlock it, you can move it, but we're gonna lock it in. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our webcam, if you are using a webcam. So you're gonna go to video capture device, add source, uh, we'll keep it video capture device. And here's our webcam, a C920. So right now it's kind of a block and we want it to really use the full effect of our webcam. So we're gonna go to resolution type custom. Resolution is gonna be set to 1920 by 1080. It's still a little bit jumpy. FPS, we're gonna to set to 30. Video format is gonna be MJPEG. Color space, gonna do 709. Color range, we're gonna go for the full color range. Buffering's gonna be auto detect and capture audio only. So let's go ahead and shrink this down for a bit. Now here's a good trick if you're using a webcam, which you probably are, is you wanna add some filters to it. This will make it look a lot better. So go to filters, click the plus button here, and we wanna to go to color correction. From here, we can adjust a certain number of things. The first thing we're gonna adjust is down here, the white. We wanna just add a little bit of a dark orangish yellow hue to the scene. Just a little bit, see what that did already? We click done here, and we go back to filters. Off on already looks 10 times better. You can play around with these settings here, contrast, brightness, saturation, um, to make things look a little bit better. Maybe just bump up the contrast very slightly and the saturation up just a little bit. And then we'll hit done. Another thing you, you wanna do with your, your webcam is right click it, go to properties, and then go to configure video down here. You wanna to go to camera control and you wanna make sure that low light compensation is turned off and all of these boxes are turned off. If you have good lighting, um, you'll probably be at exposure minus five, and then you can zoom in if you want to. A lot of different settings here you can play with. Um, here, white balance, you wanna drag that to fit where you want it to be. This is what, These are my settings right here currently. So if you like the way this webcam looks, feel free to screenshot this and use this for your own webcam settings. Next, we wanna add an overlay to our webcam. So what I did was I uploaded a bunch of custom webcam borders to the Discord server that you guys can use for free. Go to the free download section. You're gonna to go to free webcam borders here. You're gonna save file or just open with. Here you're gonna extract this anywhere you want to. I'm gonna extract it to my desktop. Hit okay, close out of there. Minus, let's make sure it's in our desktop. There it is. Okay, so what you wanna to do to add a webcam border is you're gonna click the plus button and go to image. Add source, we're gonna name this webcam border and let's browse and find the image that we want under desktop, webcam borders. So we've got a good number of ones that we can use to start out with. Uh, for the sake of this video, let's just go with red. Go ahead and open that up. Boom, and there we are. So a quick thing that we wanna make sure that, that we have unchecked, we're gonna go to settings. You're gonna be in general, you're gonna scroll down and source alignment snapping. You want that to be off. Otherwise things are gonna snap really weird and you don't want that. So let's make our video capture device, our webcam just a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna change our webcam border to match and go over that video, just like that. And we can move our webcam to fit ourselves in it, like so. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna add a group. So we're gonna name this webcam group, and click done, and you're gonna drag the webcam border and the video capture device to the webcam group. Now when you click on this to drop down, you can see that we've lost our border because the video capture device is on top of the webcam border. So go ahead and drag webcam border above that, boom. So the nice thing about groups is that you can move things 
together as a group. So now these are both on top of each other and we can resize it how we want to. Perfect. Another thing we want to add is at the top here we have our recent follower. So when someone follows on stream, their name's going to pop up on top of there. So we're going to click the plus button and go to stream label, add source. We're going to name this recent follower. Now you can have many different type of label types, but for the sake of our setup that we're going to have here, we're going to go down to recent follower if we can find it. Followers, most recent follower, click. All right, let's change the font to be a little bit more exciting. You can download a bunch of different fonts from dafont.com. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to use Arial Black. That's a pretty clean looking font. And then we can scroll down here and add an outline to it if we want to. Let's just give it a black outline. We can even get it a, give it a red outline to kind of match our overall theme we have going here. Make the outline size just a little bit bigger, just like that. Click Done. And drag that here to fit our webcam. <laughs> Make sure down here in Sources to drag that into the webcam group at the top. And there we go, we have our webcam group set up. It looks pretty good if it would go in here. There we go. Now, a cool effect that we can add, I need to resize this border. There we go. A cool effect we can add that we can make that name scroll across our screen if we want. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to filters, click add, and we're gonna go to scroll. Hit done. We wanna do a horizontal scroll just like that. Maybe slow it down just a little bit. We're gonna limit the width and we're gonna give it to maybe 800. Oh, that's too many. We're gonna give it a width of about maybe 300. Cool. So currently, we're gonna hit done. We see that it's repeating his name over and over and over again. We wanna have some space in there. So go back to recent follower, right click it, go to properties. After name, you're gonna hit the space bar a couple of times. And we should see that change here. Looks like I got a new follower during this video. <laughs> Awesome. Let's space it a couple more times. I want it to line up so that when this starts going in, the other side keeps coming out. And there we go. That looks pretty good for a free setup, I would say. This already looks better probably than half of people that are on Twitch. So let's click the whole webcam group. We're going to resize it so it fits the left side of our screen here. And we're going to lock it in. And now you're basically set up here. We're going to add in the alert box, click the plus, click alert box, add source. You want all of this checked over here. You're gonna click done. You can have this in the middle of your screen. You can have it above your webcam, it wherever you want it to be. Personally, for me, I have mine above my webcam just so it's not annoying and in the middle of your gameplay for people watching. Let's go ahead and lock that and there we go. The next thing we want to make sure to do is go into our settings and make sure that we're streaming to Twitch, if you are streaming to Twitch. Uh, if it asks you for your Twitch stream key, you're going to go to your Twitch account. On the top right, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to channel and videos, and then you'll have your primary stream key. So you'll copy that and then paste it into Streamlabs where it asks you for it, if it still does that. The next thing you want to do is under general. You're going to go to auto optimize you'll click that and it's going to detect your your computer hardware and your internet speed to to see what you should be streaming at after that runs through i'll just show you what kind of things i use for my stream output first i'm in advanced mode so make sure you go to advanced this is where things get a little bit specific if you're using an nvidia rtx series card you're going to want to use hardware nvenc new to stream. Other NVIDIA cards, you use hardware NVENC. If you're using a Ryzen card, you probably want to use your CPU, which is software times 264. I definitely recommend getting something like an RTX 2060 if you have a one stream PC. I think that's what I use and it works really well for a one stream setup. My bitrate is around 5,000. Uh, my preset is set to max performance. You can do max performance or performance probably is what you want to be at. Profile set to high. GPU zero and max B frames too. Uh, these are my audio settings. This is probably pretty default. Under video, my base rev resolution is 1920 by 1080. My scaled resolution is, is 720. So I stream at 720p, which I think is fine. It's, it's definitely watchable. The downscale filter I have set to the highest one, which is sharp and scaling 32 samples. You can go to bicubic if, if you're having a little bit of stream delay and stream drop. Uh, dropped frames, uh, common FPS value, and then 60. I st stream at 60 if you can. If not, you could stream at 30 frames per second. And that should be basically the Streamlabs setup, and you'll be good to go. Next thing we want to do is customize our alerts. So down here, we can see test widgets. If we click here, follow. So I have a, cu a custom image and 
sound that goes when someone follows me. So to customize this, you're gonna go to your Streamlord, Stream, Streamlabs dashboard, which is here on the left. It's this little image, it says dashboard, and go ahead and go to dashboard or exit out of this. So first thing, you wanna click on alert box and you're gonna to go to follows. If you're just starting out, follows are probably the one thing you wanna make sure that you get right. So we wanna have a custom image and sound that pops up when someone hits the follow button on our stream. So the first thing we wanna do is get a custom image or a GIF. So go ahead and head to giphy.com where they have a ton of different um, GIFs that you can use for your stream. Let's go ahead with the SpongeBob one, I like this one. So click here, you're gonna click copy link and you wanna get the whole GIF link. So go ahead and copy that. You're gonna to go to your alert box in Streamlabs, click the link symbol here and then paste in and hit submit to add that image to your stream. The next thing you wanna get is a custom sound that plays. To do this, I use a website called myinstance.com. They literally have thousands of different sound effects that, that you can use. This is Sparta! Let's try out this one here, Sexy Sex. So we're gonna click on the name here and we're gonna to go to download MP3. You right click here in the middle and you're gonna click save audio as. And then you can save that anywhere you want to on your computer. Click save and you'll be good to go. Head back to Streamlabs. You're gonna to go to change media in the sound box here. You're gonna drag and drop upload and you're gonna find that file that you saved on your computer, wherever it is. Open it up and then make sure you click on it here to choose which one you want. After that, it should be set up. You wanna maybe change your sound volume down just a little bit because those are all pretty loud and you can change how long that alert duration pops up, which is the GIF. And make sure your follow alerts are enabled. And then you can change a bunch of different stuff about the alert animation if you wanna have it slide in and rotate out upright. This is just what I use. And then the text animation you can change as well. Another thing I recommend doing is going into font settings and changing the default font that pops up. I use Fira Sans, and then for text highlight color, this is the color that pops up. So Murdoch here is blue because that is the text highlight color. If I change it to red, then it will match more of my, my current webcam setup. So that's how you set up custom follows. You can go ahead and do that for hosts, when someone hosts you, when someone raids you, and anything else. If you're just starting out and you're not affiliated yet, you don't have to worry about subscriptions, but you can do the same method for that as well. All right, so we have our current setup here. We have our display capture, we have our webcam setup, and we have custom alerts set up. From here, you're basically good to start streaming, but there's a few more things that we're gonna hit to make your stream really stand out. And we're gonna start with your Twitch panels and overlays. So you wanna head back to your Twitch page and below it, you have panels. And you wanna go to edit panels and you can add in um, some of the panels that I custom made that you guys can use. So to add a panel, you'll click the plus button, add text or image panel, and you're gonna to go to add image. So to get the, the Twitch panels that I made, you're gonna look for free panels here in the Discord under free downloads. And these are all links that link to whatever you want them to be. So let's say you wanna link your YouTube account. We have a lot of different colors that you can mix and match here for your custom panels. So let's go with red for YouTube if we want. Gonna click open and click done. So image links to, you want that to be whatever that image is gonna be clicked on and linked to. So for me, We'll put in my YouTube channel, which I already have up here. Copy, go ahead and paste that in. And you can add text below the panel if you want to. So let's say, hey, check out my YouTube page. Boom. Go ahead and hit submit after checking for any typos. All right, so go back to the top, click edit panels again. And we see we have our custom panel here with a little bit of text. You click on it and boom, it opens up the, the, the link, the YouTube page of whatever you want it to be. <laughs> So for our panels that we custom made that you guys can use, there's a ton of different ones, free panels. So we've got Twitter links, we've got Discord links, we've got donation links, we've got Instagram links, YouTube links, and then you can add whatever else that you wanna add. Um, a quick tip, if you wanna do your, your donation link, you're gonna go to your Streamlabs account and go to settings and you're gonna set up your donation box. Uh, for me, I use PayPal. Well, not anymore, because I just have a, um, a charity panel on my page, but if you want donations from other people, you're gonna have to set it up through Streamlabs and use PayPal or whatever these other ones are. 
and it'll, and it'll give you a link for what your donation page is to set that up. All right, so we've got our stream set up, we've got our custom panels, and next thing we wanna add in is maybe an offline screen and a header box that, that pops up. So you're gonna head on over to settings, profile banner. Now for this one, this is the headers and offline pictures in the free downloads. And there's a ton of different ones. We've got uh, red, purple, gray, green, blue, yellow that you can select. Click on which one you want and you'll click open and it will upload it for you. Boom. The next one you want to add is the offline screen. That's going to be in channel and videos. Go ahead and scroll down to video player banner. You're going to update that with the offline pictures and you can match it with the header if you want to. Purple offline, go and click open, boom, and they're set. They might take a little bit of time to actually reflect onto your page. Boom, so we've got our offline screen set up and a matching Twitch header that we can use. Aside from that, you should be mostly ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go into a few more details here of just things that I've learned and picked up on to help my stream just have a little bit higher quality. The first one is gonna be our microphone. Uh, for my stream, I'm using a, a Blue Yeti and there's a few filters that I've added to it to make it sound a little bit better. But I need to switch back to my other page here. There's me. Let's go to something more interesting looking. On the right side here, you had your, your audio mixer that you want to set up. So we've got our microphone. Go to properties and make sure that you have your right microphone set. If you're using something like a USB like you at if you're using something like a USB mic, like a Blue Yeti, make sure you have that selected. Or if you're using a, a headset microphone, click that as well. So what you want to do is you want to go to filters and these will make your mic sound a little bit better on stream. You're gonna to wanna to add in a noise gate, noise suppression, and a compressor. This will make it cut out some of your background noise. For, so for me, for my noise gate, these are the numbers that I use. Go ahead and screenshot this and then bring that over to your own filters. My noise suppression is at negative 23. And my compressor, I've got a ratio of 10, a negative 19 threshold, six attack, 60 release, negative one output gain, and side chain ducking of none. For on my mic specifically, on the back side of it, there's two knobs. I have my gain set right in the middle for these settings. Some people have it turned all the way down or just a smidge up. Just fiddle around with it and see what you like. And then the back one, the pattern that I use is called cardioid. It looks like a little heart. So it only picks up sound in the front of your microphone and not behind it where your keyboard is. And that is a quick setup for your audio basically. Another good tip that you wanna check for your audio levels is in the bottom right in the mixer. You want your microphone to kind of be in the yellow zone here and whatever gameplay audio you have kind of right on the border of yellow, but still in the green. That way your mic sounds loud and people can hear you over top of the game that you're playing. All right, and that basically covers everything you need to know to start streaming. I hope you guys enjoy some of the free stuff that I made that you guys can use. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and honestly subscribe if you've made it this far in the video. And don't forget that I myself stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Murdoch. I put the link down in the description below. Thanks again for watching and peace out. Hey, I'm walking here. I gotta say, hey, I'm walking here to get into like, you know, hey. Ooh, hey, hey. to like prepare for my my New York Italian voice lines, I gotta say. Nah. Hey, I'm walking here. Listen hey. here closely. The mafia found out one of you is a simp. We need to find out. <laughs> <laughs>